analysts at the Institute for the Study of War ISW observe that Russia continues to deepen bilateral relations with Iran and North Korea in exchange for the provision of lethal aid to the Russian military for use in Ukraine. The analysts see multiple reasons to believe that there is a correlation between Moscow helping Pyongyang and Tehran on the one hand and its acquisition of lethal weaponry to be used against Ukraine on the other hand. One example includes Iranian state-affiliated media outlet, Mare News Agency, which reported on the 23rd of July that Iran will launch its Hod Hod and Kosa satellites into low Earth orbit from an unspecified Russian station in October 2024. Furthermore, Bloomberg reported on the 25th of July that South Korea's Bank of Korea estimated that North Korea's gross domestic product grew 3.1% in 2023 compared to 2022 after annual contractions since 2019. The Bank of Korea estimated that North Korea's heavy and chemical industries, particularly the production of iron, steel, copper, nickel and aluminium, grew the most in 2023 by 8.1%. South Korean Defense Minister Shin Won-sik previously stated that Russia's provision of food to North Korea in exchange for weapons helped North Korea stabilize prices and likely boosted North Korean domestic manufacturing. North Korea and Russia have been allies since North Korea's founding after World War II and have drawn even closer since Russia's 2022 invasion of Ukraine as Western powers have stepped up sanctions against Moscow. North Korea has reportedly transferred as many as 4.1 million artillery shells to Russia and Iran has supplied Shahed-136-131 drones and components to Russia. Since the start of the full-scale invasion, the Kremlin has directly benefited from increased military technical partnerships with China, Iran and North Korea, with these countries mitigating sanctions and war-induced pressures on Russia's defense industry. Combined, the three have supplied Russia with much-needed dual-use systems, arms and weapons parts. While these goods have generally been of lower quality than their Western alternatives, they have nonetheless kept the Russian armed forces relatively well supplied. This has allowed Russia to maintain consistent intensity of attacks on Ukraine and has contributed to Russia's battlefield successes. At least 15 people were killed after a landslide caused by flooding in central China's Hunan province destroyed a guesthouse on Sunday, state media reported. A severe landslide in central China's Hunan province injured six. The landslide occurred in Yuelan village of Hangyang city as a result of heavy rainfall in recent days, according to a report from the official Xinhua news agency. The village is located near the Mount Hung resort one of the most famous mountains in China. The scenic spot draws many visitors during the summer thanks to its cool weather. State broadcaster CCTV reported that rescue teams initially feared 18 people were buried under the landslide. However, as of Sunday night, 15 bodies had been recovered. More than 300 emergency personnel were deployed to the scene to aid in the rescue and recovery efforts. The landslide was caused by flash floods that inundated the region, leading to the destruction of the guesthouse and widespread damage. A video released by the Beijing Youth Daily showed a trail of mud and debris cutting through a hillside, with an uprooted tree lying in front of a partially destroyed three-story building. Aerial footage provided by Xinhua revealed the extent of the devastation, showing the ruined base of a building at the top of the debris trail and damaged structures at the hill's base. Hunan is one of the regions in China hit hardest by recent extreme weather. A flood earlier this month breached an embankment on the shore of Dongting Lake in the northeastern part of the province, forcing more than 6,000 residents to evacuate. <laughs> Oh, 